can remember how the Islamic cleric Sheigumi started that the bandit learned kidnapping from the Niger Delta militants. According to Gumi, Fulani Esme became bandits as a result of being victims of cattle rustling and that they learned some of their acts as a result of self-defense. We can also remember that they that he stated that since the government gave amnesty to militants, they should also grant amnesty to bandits. Governor Yaya Bello has disagreed with the statement of Shea Gumi in an interview with CBC News this morning, which was also monitored by Niger News. Governor Yaya Bello stated that bandits and the militants are not in the same pedestals. Governor Yaya Bello also disagreed that bandits be granted amnesty. He urged the Nigerian military to enter the forest in the northern parts of the country and flush them out with immediate effects. Okay. He urged that Nigeria okay, to enter the forest and flush them out. Uh, he disagreed that bandits be granted amnesty. Okay. And it should not be compared to militants. Uh, a lot of debates are all going uh, going online that uh, why should he be talking about a, a Niger data militant that uh, because they are granted the granted the militants. Some people say oh they are the same. Some people say oh they are not the same. And Yaya Bilu, you know, has lent his own voice that you should stop it, stop it, stop comparing them together. I don't know what you think about what Gumi has been saying because, like we said, Gumi is something else and he's not working alone, he's not working in isolation. Governor Yaya Bilu has said nothing but the truth, and the government, government needs to listen to him for the benefit of Nigeria masses. Gumi is a father of bandits. Some of our educated Islamic elites know that know that fact, but are always beclouded by religious and tribal interest than the plain fact. Agitators for the rights can never be compared to murders, murderers, kidnappers, and rapists carried by bandits in Nigeria. Therefore, asking for them to give amnesty is like a legalizing criminality in the country. Governor Yaya Bello is right in my views. And some people have the opinion that uh, if I thought that uh, that is what should be obtainable, then that means just go to all the correctional center, all the prisons, bring all of them out because they didn't do it uh, intentionally, just like uh, the way Gumi is, is defending them or is making excuses for them. Well, wow, I'm really surprised by uh, very funny utterances from some northern nigeria elites unfortunate indeed nice one from yaya Bello. you have said it all thanks thank but no thanks Bello. hope you are not saying this for nigeria people to think you are a correct candidate for the next president presidential election sorry we are tired of you bunch of crooks gumi should be arrested for terrorism before combing the bush or else he will alert his people in the forest this one Yaya Bello is now speaking on national issue hmm, every day. Hmm. Somebody say it's, it's looking uh, it's suspicious. So. <laughs> that he's talking. You know, it's the one himself and uh, what's this man's name? It's just so funny. Funny Kaya did now. They went to go and meet the national traders, the northern traders, to say, oh, they are uh, intervening so that people from the southern part of the country will not, will not uh, go hungry, would not starve. Well, just like, like seriously, they went to meet a Gabari, the chief of staff. We're like, okay, what are these people up to? Of course, somebody saying that, a uh, what uh, this man is up to. I hope, uh, what this one that is not speaking on national issues on a daily basis, hope he's not up to something. Of course, now we'll be hearing kun, 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 that he might want to go for the presidency. And again, <laughs> the AG of the Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, too. We learn that he's still hiding that position as well. Good talk, Your Excellency Yaya Belu. Just this single act of Yaya Belu, you make my day today for the first time. It's time. It's take. Uh, it's take thumb. It, okay, take thumbs up. Forgive my brother, please. University education does not translate to wisdom. He couldn't differentiate between militants and bandits. They should ask Gumi what economic importance the Fulanis have to compare to what militants were trying to deny Nigeria with. In case he doesn't know, oil is the major source of revenue in Nigeria. 
take oil from this country for a day the old nation will collapse but we can survive without cows and sheep president in the making say the truth no matter how painful it's it is and be upright at all times you are good to go <laughs> okay <-o. laughs> the same way that Dwari came he cried not that he even deceived the nigerians with his words or with his fake promises he even cried ah they say hey hi and some people are like if Buhari had not come in, eh, oh, people would have said, oh, Buhari, Nigeria would have been something else. It would have been one of the top developed countries in this world. No, but because they didn't allow him, you know, that's a good thing that it happened. But it's unfortunate that the, the suffering and the pain this administration is inflicting on the people is just too, too, too massive. It's too, too, too massive. If the suffering or the the degree of uh, the suffering when uh, during the time of Good Luck Jonathan was like, uh, let's say, a uh, 15 percent but what we have now is 95 percent everybody is tired everybody is is you know convulsing everybody is choked with this administration and with all the uh, ineptitude with all the nepotism with all the all manner of you know tribalism and all of that and this idea of not even saying anything keeping everybody quiet that if you are tired you will rest that for me for him to show empathy with the people is something else everything everything what can you can we say that okay we are comfortable with this one the area of insecurity the area of economy infrastructure uh, uh, projects which one nothing to 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 sum it up even when we are still complaining about the insecurity now they are still telling us that we should we should pardon those who are taking people's lives who have made life uncomfortable for the people that they should still forgive them seven gunshots for governor yaya Bilu for this simple truth that gumi is a that gumi is a terrorist he's saying the truth why are they wasting time to go for the forest to go to the forest and flush them out immediately federal government has done it to boko haram before by careless mistakes people who killed militants were attacking oil facility but bandits and boko haram were killing and destroying human beings Baba bandits really enjoy ransom commissioning. He has been collecting from the Nigerian, from the northern region. Gumi has been ill all this while. We don't even, we didn't know. Militants are fighting for oil spoilage of their land that is not good enough for agriculture to farm, demanding dividends from governments and bandits are stealing people's money and cattle. Rustling later turned to kidnappers to kidnap people demanding for money gumi need brain surgery for that ill statements so guys let us hear your opinion what you think about this comparison between bandits and the militants by gumi